Oh, I have so many thoughts, but I'll try to keep it concise. Artists are naturals at experimentation, at trying something that they, they don't have any proof that it'll work. And when it doesn't work, they're not let down by it. They're like, ah, oh, I just learned something, new information. They're prototyping it. And there is an iteration factor, right? A series, if you will, that you learn from over time. Inherent in that, I think, is a lack of judgment on your part of the work being a failure because that's just part of the process. And your, what is your creative process? Being able to articulate that is really helpful in not only understanding where you are you know, through the arc of, of, of a work, but also being able to communicate to somebody else and say, it might look like I'm just sitting here daydreaming, <laughs> but a lot of hard work is happening right now. Yep. I'm building things up and tearing them down. I'm experimenting. Oh, that failed because of that. And before you even put pen to paper, you've already built it and torn it down a dozen times. Yep. Right? So there's a level of um, non-judgment involved in that process. Very young children are free to draw the craziest things out of their imagination. And then slowly they start to recognize other people are not understanding it or are judging it. And they start to shut that down. They stop asking questions because they're taught that it's not productive for the flow of the, 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 the class if you keep asking questions or because they're starting to learn how their world works. And so these new things that were surprising are no longer surprising and they stop questioning them. Artists are also really good at questioning and saying, well, just because everybody says this is like this, I'm going to turn it on its head and say, what if we did it this way? Sometimes that involves reinventing the wheel and you've expended a lot of energy for no real payoff. But sometimes that ends up giving you ideas and new information that is the innovative spark you needed. So, you know, as you're thinking about kids, how, how can they recognize that a failure is not the end, that there's feedback in failure, there's information in failure? My son, he's five, a bit of a perfectionist, and we got him this book called The Beautiful Oops. So how do you take an accident and make that into the next big thing, which couldn't have existed had the accident not happened in the first place? It was like night and day. Suddenly he went from freaking out that he put the dot in the wrong place. And now he's like, this is going to be a beautiful oops. And it, he gets excited about it. And it's really beautiful. I think the lack of judgment, the ability to ask deep questions, and this feeling of that there's feedback and failure are key elements of being an artist that are innate to the work that you do. But sometimes I think we forget about it out of the studio that that's also can be part of the process out of the studio.